Yggdrasil is the tree of the worlds in Norse mythology. This colossal tree is the most perfect tree that ever existed. Its roots are so profound that they reach the three most distant worlds. These are Jotunheim, Niflheim, and Helheim. Jotunheim, the frozen kingdom and land of the Jontar, also known as the Ice Giants, was ruled by the king of the Jontar, the giant Thrym. Niflheim, in turn, is a desolated and shadowy world where the ice and the freezing mists make everything even more sinister. This is where Nithog, the giant dragon, lives, who is constantly gnawing at the roots of Yggdrasil. Helheim is the kingdom of Hel, also known as Hela. This is the world of the dead in the Norse mythology. This world is inhabited by the spectra of souls of those who died without glory. Nithavalir, the land of the doors, is located above these three profound kingdoms. These beings were quite skillful and capable of impressive things, like Thor's hammer, for instance. Right above the kingdom of the dwarves is Midgard, the land of men and women. This kingdom was surrounded by walls edified by the gods to protect men. There was also the world of Alfheim, the kingdom of the light elves, creatures of great beauty. Svartalheim also existed, the home of the evil elves, black like tar. Muspelheim is the world of the fire giants, where Suter live, whose fate is to destroy the Bifrost Bridge, which connects Asgard to the remaining worlds. Vanaheim is the home of the Vayner, for being the land of the gods of fertility, grains, and fruits spring up from the soul in vast amounts. This is the homeland of the goddess Freyr and Freya, offspring of Njord, the Vayner god of the seas. Lastly, in the greatest parts of Yggdrasil is Asgard, the kingdom of the gods Aesir, where Odin ruled sovereignty on his throne. This is also the location of Valhalla, the place where the great warriors who had an honored dead in the battlefield will go to. A giant eagle named Vidrifolnir lived on the top of the worlds. The eagle is the arch enemy of the dragon Nithog, and the hate between both creatures was fed by the squirrel Ratatoskir, which ran up and down the world, carrying the insults of both. The squirrel's greatest source of amusement was to amplify the insults it carried even more, and witness the angered reactions of the eagle and the dragon. The leaves and the fruits of the Yggdrasil tree had magical properties. Eating just one of its fruits healed any wound, and some said that its leaves could even retrieve a life already lost. Yggdrasil will always remain beautiful and green, but it will tremble with Ragnarok's arrival.